how can we fit a whole head inside a cap? You know what I'm saying? No cap, though. Oh my God, it's so tiny. Oh Lord Jesus, have mercy. Right now, this is so tiny. Not bad, but pretty small. Let's go. We graduate. Let's go. Let and how to fit a graduation cap on with a style on your hair. Welcome back to another video. Let's go. The universe, the universe today is a new day. Hey, we got a what? We got a banger. We got a banger. We got a banger. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hi guys, I'm excited today because guess what? I'm graduating tomorrow. So if you guys have not known that, graduated from LPCU. Very excited. Go check my video out of my graduation if it's out by now. Go check it out. Verse family. Uh, click the link right up here. Boom, right there. Or boom, right there. Or boom, right there. Or you can just look up the verse family. I'm graduating with my bachelor's in arts of biblical studies. I'm so happy, guys. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Comment down below. God is good to you right now. Comment down below. Say God is good all the time. Time and hit the like button if God is good to you, man. I'm gonna show you guys how to put a graduation cap on because I dealt with this two years ago. This is my two year video right here. Check it out. This is when my hair was like super short. I can't believe it's two years already. What's up, you guys? Today, uh, I'm probably gonna vlog from my memory, but I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, not the whole vlog, but just uh, basically how to do your hair for graduation, man. Like us dreadheads and afro heads and a bunch of type of different style heads have problem putting our uh, grad hats on. You know what I'm saying? Just cause we got something on our head already. Yeah, today I graduate from LPCU with my associate degree. Uh, I'm just starting, two years in it. That feels good already to be graduating. I'm about to go get the hat and figure out a way to do it because I've never done it before too. Alright guys, so now we're going to figure this out. So, yeah, I have long hair now. Long hair, don't care. Like, super long hair, actually. Ugh. Sheesh! Sheesh! Yes, yeah, sir, ski. All right, guys, so how can we fit a whole head inside a cap? 
You know what I'm saying? No cap though. So I'm gonna show you guys full headed like this. Just putting it down and uh, how to put it and fit it in on your head. Your hair is gonna give you a big head to work with. So let's see, you know, this is a zero, I think. So zero means it's a small. I should have asked for a big, bigger. Oh my God, it's so tiny. Oh Lord Jesus have mercy. Right now, this is so tiny. Not bad, but pretty small. And uh, yeah, so what I did was I kind of went on in the back like by pulling it. It has some kind of stretchy materials inside of the cap, but you're able to stretch it to a certain limit. And after that, it literally just looks like I'm about to rip after that. So I'm just pushing it down on my hair and you just want to get like a good feel to it. Like you just want to like move your head around, make sure it's not falling. And if you got a big forehead like me, I don't think I got a biggest forehead, but I got a bigger forehead. So I just want to be able to cover it after like my eyebrow. So just in case, you know, I just want to smile. It's not blocking my smile, you know? Sometimes you go like this and then your hair like this. Like you look goofy, bruh. Like, take that off. But this is good right here. Um, in the back, this is what it looks like. And this is for longer hair, you know what I'm saying? If you have a shorter hair, of course, it would be like an option for you to kind of like tuck it inside. You know what I'm saying? To kind of like fit it within the certain inch that you got left in here. Cause I can still feel some space in here. I just cannot fit my head in there. So I'm, I pulled it as much as I can. Good thing is the stretchy material can grip my head pretty good. See that? Like that's a really good grip. Let's see if I say, hey, let's go. We graduated, let's go. Let's go. We graduated, let's go. Then see, we good. You know what I'm saying? To a certain extent, it might not fit to your head top if your head top is bigger than mine. See, I'm five, like, I'm five, like, five. Like, I'm six feet, but I'm five, five. You know what I'm saying? So, um, my head shape is a little smaller than maybe a six foot person. Maybe not. So, when you get your, you know, cap, make sure that uh, it is a little bit bigger than a normal size. Ask maybe, like, if they have, like, customization size. Go for uh, higher numbers. I think zero is the smallest one. Very tight. I can feel the grips right here. I know that when I'm done, it's going to give me that do-rag mark right there. So, it's gonna look weird, but uh, yeah, so this is how you fit it. And then if you have a hairstyle, which I recommend to have a hairstyle on your graduation, cause you just wanna look good, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna look goofy on your graduation. This is a pictures day. This is a day that you're making history for yourself. Uh, this is gonna be in the books in the future when they like ask you like, you know what college did you graduate? I graduated from Life Point Christian University with my bachelor's. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you have some kind of stories and then they show your picture back and then you're like looking good versus like you looking like, oh my God. Like evil, like you know what I'm saying? Some people look evil in their pictures. It's like, why do you look like that, bro? Like, what happened to you back then? You don't want to look evil. You want to look good at your graduation because later on, when you look back or show your kids or your future generation a legacy or where you came from, you're like, yeah, I graduated, man. This like, this like 2021. I know we like in 20 like 50 right now, but you know, 2021 was their year, man. So like, you know what I'm saying? You wanna, you wanna have something to remind yourself that you look fresh. So make a history today by looking good. So right now, I need to give myself a haircut and see how I look like, but, and how to fit a graduation cap on with a style on your hair. You know, that's another method to do so. If you're having like a braid, I would say avoid anything that has to do with like double braid or barrel twist and different things because it's gonna make your head look so big. Oh my God, I gotta tell y'all a story. So my high school year, I had a big fro and my graduation cap couldn't fit on. So literally I put it in the back of my head, like it literally was like this. And when I'm walking, my afro is bouncing, so my whole cap is literally bouncing with me, like like this. I'm with my homeboy DJ Icefish. Bro, people are laughing, like people are literally laughing, and I just like regret it from that moment forward that I'm not ever, never, never gonna have a bad hair day on my graduate, uh, my graduation day. So I decided to take on myself to learn the skills of cutting my own hair. Boom, gifted hands. Boom, blessed hands. Boom, blessed head. Boom, get it done. Now that you have a hairstyle, you know. And this little thing right here, <laughs> this little tiny twist. I'm gonna twist it around one of these, just so that they don't be in the way. With just a hairstyle, and I'll show you guys what how how good it looks once you put a hairstyle together for your graduation. You know, and you want to go with something that you know you can rock down, not you know not a ponytail or uh, like I said, two bun like two 
my bun uh yeah even buns and stuff like that it will be in your way so get a nice little hairdo on and then this graduation cap on what i'm, what I'm doing is right now holding the front because the, the front is like the, what gauges it and then try to fit the rest of it around it It right here graduation cape and it's not going nowhere kind of moves because there's space right here it can only stretch up to a certain length after that it's just like kind of like done so this is it right here put a graduation cape on how you do it like i said what i did was i held in the front and i stretched the back and fit it and then once you get a good grip after that just work your way down i'm hoping that you guys like and enjoy this video the two strand twist video is out already if not by now then I think it should be out, yeah, yeah. The two strand twist video is out right now, so go check that out, how to do two strand twist. The most nicest way, neatest way for your dreadlocks, because some two strand twist actually is not healthy for your hair, meaning that yeah, you're causing a lot of friction and a lot of damage, uh, a lot of things going on for your dreads, and so you don't wanna mess up what's already going on. So just watch the video to how to do the best two strand twist if you have dreadlocks, so that you don't end up going through the same thing that a lot of people go through. And also, this is how you put a graduation cap. This is so easy that you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching this video keep acting over and creating your universe i'm activeverse and i'm out stay tuned subscribe you dig